Okay, so today, today, we are going to be trying samples that you guys have sent to me. I have swapped with you guys and you guys have been more than kind to send me uh, samples from your perfume collection. By you guys, I mean my perfume friends, subby friends, etc. So I have here some expansive ones. I have here some affordable ones. I have a little bit of everything. So let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to try is going to be Gwen Stefani Lamb. Uh, this is one that Marianne sent to me. She's a great subby friend. Let's try it on camera. I have here my handy handy super fancy <laughs> paper strips and I'm gonna smell it first and then I'll look up the note. That's how we are going to do this. Oh wow. Mm, it's more potent than I expected. It's definitely floral, slightly musky, and I want to say a little bit powdery. It's most potent, so let's look up the notes. I've never heard of this perfume before. Yeah, it's not even coming up on Fragantica. Wow. Okay. How do I know the notes then? Let's, it's on perfume.com, so I guess that's where I'm going to see the notes. It smells like an older perfume um something like in the early 2000s i want to say like maybe something like my auntie would wear it says this fragrance features floral and fruity notes of freesia a water i don't know how to pronounce that violet leaf orange blossom pear peach sweet pea and musk wear this airy clean scent to a lunch date or out on a stroll when you want more when you want to i can't read <laughs> when you want a more exciting and brighter feel to your day yeah um probably wouldn't pick this up it smells like something that I've smelled before. It smells clean, uh, like I said, musky, a little bit powdery. I'm assuming because of the violet leaf in there. Um, it smells like like an auntie. That's what it smells like to me. Someone's auntie. That's what it smells like to me. Not a fan of this one, but Gwen Stefani Lem. It's so funny because she just messaged me right now. She's so funny. She's like one of the funniest subbies that I have. She says, I just bought Miami Glow, the only one in 10, and Flora Botanica. Take away my debit card. This was after watching your spring fragrance video, by the way. <laughs> I'm so dead. My bad. My bad. Okay, so the next one that she gave me is Nicki Minaj Onika. I have been dying. Does this one have anything? Yeah. Um, to smell this perfume for quite a while. I think this is the one that has pear and it's uh, like a translucent sweet perfume and it's very inexpensive of course. Like it's a, it's a celebrity perfume. So I've been dying to smell it and pear is one of my favorite fruity notes because it's not too sweet. It's translucent. It's airy and oh yes. Yes. Mmm. This is a really good one. It does need skin though because I feel like it's pretty light. <sighs> it smells like, like a candy to me but not too sugary sweet. But it's sweet. Ugh. So let's look up the notes for sure for sure. The bottle is horrendous though. Like, Sorry not sorry. The bottle is ugly. <sighs> it smells really good. So... Main accords are fruity, sweet, floral, fresh, tropical, aquatic, citrus, and vanilla. It has pear, star fruit, it has sugar cane, white musk, cedar, water lily. So it's a very aquatic, not aquatic, well, it's a translucent, airy scent. Sweet, but not like sugary, sugary, sweet, even though sugar cane is, well, sugar cane, if you ever tasted sugar cane, it's sweet, but it has still like a very light sweetness kind of like flower bomb nectar i've described that one as sweet too but it's not like a decadent heavy sweetness ah it's just a watery sweetness very very good this is a great perfume this is one that i'm gonna definitely add into my collection i hate the bottle so i'm probably gonna get like a small one but this is a very very like simple sweet perfume this is something that i would actually wear to the beach I'm not gonna lie to like a brunch or something on the go this is i think bottle worthy in my opinion so i really like it and it's a great celebrity cheapy perfume it's also kind of like uh i can see this wearing it to like a cute date if you want someone all up up in your neck and stuff 
All right, so the next one that I have, I know you guys see how I just easily transition into that. Like I didn't just say that. And this is the last one that I'm going to try out of all the ones that she sent me. And this is Good Girl Supreme. I have Good Girl already. Um, and I believe this is a new one from this year, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe towards the end of last year. But it's a new perfume. Now, I know she really likes this one. This smells like good girl to me, but more sweet, more fruity, more girly. Now, for that reason is the reason I won't personally be buying it because it kind of takes away from the aspect of what good girl is. Good girl has that uh, slight masculine edge to it, which I find very, very appealing, alluring, sexy, or smexy, as I like to say on this channel. So for that reason, uh, I probably won't pick this up. I don't think that it's bad. I do like it. I think it smells great. I think it smells good, actually. Um, but it's just more fruity, and it takes away the fruity aspect of it kind of takes away the masculinity, or I don't even think masculinity is the correct term. The fruitiness in here kind of reminds me low-key of like fruit punch, especially in the opening. I can see this being sexy too though. If you didn't like the like masculine edge of Good Girl, because Good Girl does have that cologne kind of vibe to it, then I can see you liking this because it has the DNA of Good Girl but more sweet, more fruity, more girly. Yeah, more girly for sure. So now let's move into my sample arsenal that we have here. <clears throat> I have a whole, whole lot of perfumes. What should we try? Dang, I don't know what to try. <laughs> I don't know what to try. Did I talk about Nishane 100 Silent Ways? Did I? Changing Constance. Let's talk about Changing Constance. Because I've smelled this one before already. So I'm going to put this one on my skin because this one is more of an intimate... I feel like I just need skin and I don't want to waste it on paper. Sprayed my wrist. Mm, this one's like a spicy, sweet, little bit woody, kind of vanilla. <sighs> yeah. Does this have cardamom? It has like those like spicy baking spices. Caramel. I really like their bottles. I know that a lot of people don't like their bottles, but I actually really like them. Um, and that's surprising for me to say because I cannot stand obnoxious, pretentious bottles that are just too much. But I really like theirs because it reminds me of like the woods, but like a fancy cabin getaway. And you're wearing like all black turtleneck. Your hair is like sleek, all done tied up in like a low bun with big hoops and like a dark lip and you're drinking like dark liquor by the fireplace yeah that's what i imagine the main accords for changing constants are uh caramel warm spicy yeah warm spicy for sure sweet vanilla salty powdery tobacco woody musky and aromatic i would say that it's just a warm spicy vanilla to sum it all up yeah so it has cardamom pimento caramel salt the base notes are vanilla, cashmere, and tobacco. And um, these notes are super, super similar to Demi's perfume. So I definitely will not be picking up Demi's perfume. Um, and I really like this bottle too. So I don't even know if I'm going to be picking up Changing Constance because I already have like the perfect spicy vanilla in my collection and that's Loon Feline. I live in Florida. I don't get to wear those specific type of perfumes all the time. They are pricey. Um, who knows, maybe I'll be picking it up, but at this time, I don't think so. I think a more also affordable version, not that they smell the same, but I think that they are amongst that similar uh, spicy vanilla, whatever, um, is Ragba from La Taffa, and it's super, super cheap. But I was so, so close to picking up Ben Halligan's Changing Constants a while back, but I fell in love with Loon Feline more, and I find Loon Feline way more decadent, and the performance on Loon Feline is way better 
way better than changing constants once again not that they smell the same but they give me that same cozy vanilla vibe um and a little bit spicy this one's just more softer this one is more of an intimate the other one is more of bold and yeah but for an intimate vanilla i just get ragba latafa because that one is way more affordable this one also is reminding me now that i smell it of bdk gris charnel yeah it actually is you know i was smelling bdk gris charnel and i and every time I wore it, I was like, it reminds me of something and I can't put my hands on it. And now that I'm smelling the dry down of Changing Constance, it's reminding me of Gris Charnel. So, yeah, I think Gris Charnel is also more affordable than this. So, that's another option. It's just like, like herbaceous, I want to say. And it's that woody dry down that is reminding me, like unisex. I can see this on a guy as well. Interesting. I, I just picked that up. Wow. That low-key made me not really care for changing constants because I do not like Grisha or Nell, like, at all. So, interesting. Okay, wow. I just, like, literally discovered that on camera right now. So, the next one that I have, which one should I try? Which one should I try next? Out of all of these goodies that I have here, I have Spiritus uh, Double Vini. <laughs> sorry i'm like super sarcastic okay so this is a very popular perfume i already had smelled it i think it's nice would i pick it up hell nah <laughs> too expensive from what i remember it was pretty like skin scent ish i just can't understand if you're a skin scent i'm just not paying for you i'm cheap like well i'm not cheap i am financially smart <laughs> like i i don't care it's a little bit waxy, a little bit lipsticky. Let's look at the notes. Spiritus Dubli Vini. So this is vanilla, amber, warm, spicy, balsamic, woody, sweet, powdery, smoky, and soft, spicy. It has a little bit of like um, lipsticky vibe to it. Kind of like um, Twizzlers. Like you know how Twizzlers are like a little bit waxy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm smelling. Um, sorry, not sorry, but I don't care for this. I don't think it's most horrible. I just don't think it's worth the price or the talk. Well, I shouldn't say that because that's such a hypocritical statement. Because if you like it, you like it. But I don't think it's all that. For me, personally, I don't think it's all that. I, I, don't, I just don't care for it. I'm pretty sure, like, it's been done before, I feel. At a more affordable price. And not even designer-wise. I think it's been done in, like, other niche perfumes. Just way more affordable. Because I haven't smelled this in a designer perfume. I haven't. Um, because this is one of those uh, generic niche. And I said I said it. I said what I said. Well, I haven't said it, but I'm about to say it. <laughs> generic niche perfumes that smell sweet, skin scent, soft, intimate. That's the best way when people say, oh, it's overpriced, but it's just an intimate scent. No, it's a skin scent. I feel like I've smelled this before. I can't put my hands on it right now. But I feel like I've smelled this before at a more affordable price. Probably I feel like I've smelled this similar like in Serge Luton's like kind of affordable pricing. Because Serge Luton's I think is a great brand because the prices are not overly done. And it's perfumes that you can get at a more affordable pricing. Not super affordable because they're not. But at a more affordable pricing and you get to smell very different. Alright so I'm only going to try it one more because I think that's enough right so the last one that i have here is tiziana terenzi kirk or kirke kirke kirk kirke kirk okay <laughs> it has an accent so i feel like i should emphasize the e so um hmm. there is something in these perfumes that i don't care for i oh just hit my eye <laughs> but i want to say that i have about three to four samples maybe of this house and i don't care for it there is something in it that bothers me it's like mm, this one's like a fruity perfume nothing out of the ordinary that i've never smelled before but there's something synthetic in this and i don't know if that's the right word 
but something synthetic in this that I I don't care for. I don't know. This house just does not intrigue me. I've heard that they're really long lasting. But I can see this kind of being a compliment getter and something in it for some reason is reminding me of My Way from Armani. My Way has a more, you know, it has like that mouth-watering sensation and something in this is reminding me of My Way. I don't know what it is. So it's a fruity perfume. And now let's look up the notes. Okay, so I'm looking up the notes right now and it's a fruity, sweet, musky, powdery, fresh, tropical perfume. And it has notes like pear, passion fruit, peach, raspberry, all that good stuff. It has sand. That's kind of odd. Lily of the valley, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, etc. Now, I'm looking at the perfume this reminds me of. And I see here that uh, Jasmine Wisp is amongst here. Which is quite interesting because I said in uh, one of my videos that I will not be getting Jasmine Wisp because My Way reminds me of Jasmine Wisp and I prefer My Way over Jasmine Wisp. So that was an interesting notation to add. It's a nice perfume, but I prefer My Way. It's The price is, you know, there. It's nothing out of this world that I've never smelled before, um, which is hypocritical in the aspect that I said My Way is nice, but I always said My Way is nothing like, oh my god, this is like, I've never smelled this before. No, it smells like I've... Well, I shouldn't say I've smelled it before because it has its own uniqueness, but um, it smells fruity, sweet, um, just good, mouth-watering, but this is more expensive, once again, so... I can see it getting complimented, but nothing that has blown my socks away. So that is Kirk or Kirk A, I don't know. But the price here, it's showing $171 out of fragrance net. So my way is a portion of that. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, especially if you keep coming back. And please subscribe if you have not already. You can also follow me on Instagram as I'm a lot more active over there than I am here. And as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.